Hi folks, I'm nice on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I've got Android 5.0 Lollipop running on both of my Galaxy S5, the Galaxy S5 T-Mobile and the Sprint Galaxy S5. Um, actually, my T-Mobile Galaxy S5, I'm using it as my daily driver and running really well, great battery life. Performance is like night and day from TouchWiz. Um, so definitely, it is super fast. And I did some uh, benchmark testing and it is actually faster in, in a test also. So let's actually go take a look. Let's go do this, baby. All right, folks, so I've got my Sprint S5 and the T-Mobile S5. Let me go ahead and show you with the Sprint version here. Um, the data works out of the box flawless. As you can see, I've got 4G LTE and uh, you'll be running on the latest Android 5.0. And uh, believe me, this is the best uh, Lollipop 5.0 custom ROM I've tested on a non-Nexus device. Um, so this is the best one I've seen so far. The S4 is kind of beta, S3 is still beta, Note 2 is still beta, uh, S5 is just solid. I'm actually using as my daily driver, like I told you here, on my T-Mobile S5. Battery life is excellent. Uh, it's out there. It's way better than running TouchWiz. Um, this is sort of not accurate uh, because I've been charging and stuff. But uh, if you want to get some good battery life, um, you can also turn on battery saver if you need to turn on battery. Um, and uh, I really like it. Everything is just super smooth. And uh, with CM12, of course, which is this ROM here, uh, there is some customization like such as brightness control on your status bar, um, you can customize your home button, a double tap even, and change that. Uh, here we go. You can change that to um, launch camera, turn screen off. Also, you can set your double tap. Let's try uh, screen off there. So double tap, I can go ahead and turn my screen off. Ooh, that's like very yucky. And uh, you can also see some of the lollipop uh, notifications here. I'll have to get back to you guys soon, um, but I'm doing a video here. So I'm not gonna get back to you right now. Oh, what happened? Here we go. And uh, it is it is super fast, and there's no overclocking. Um, you get all the features. There's nothing broken. And the NFC works. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the camera real quick here. Zoom out real quick. And the camera works just near flawless, and I uh, love it. Um, also for video, uh, working just fine. One of the things with custom ROMs, uh, when they come out, you know, when they first come out with the KitKat, and uh, you know, when they first come out with a uh, Lollipop, one of the problems is the camera. But this one looks works flawless. And also, you can go ahead and change the resolution here. Uh, but uh, one of the things with AOSP ROMs in general, it doesn't support 4K yet, so you're going to be stuck with 1080p. Also, front camera, you're going to lose your uh, 1080p ability. So know that um, if you need 4K uh, on the rear camera and uh, you know then this could be a deal, deal, deal breaker uh, but uh, it's not really a deal breaker for me because I don't really use uh, 4K often and also 1080p front camera I do like doing uh, vlogs with my 1080p but uh, you know that's a small sacrifice uh, in return you get everything working out of the box great performance um, also great battery life so I'm using it as a daily driver but again it's still beta um, you're gonna have to do it at your own risk and uh, let me show you let's actually do a quick uh, quick test here and what we'll do is we'll close out of all the apps here and um, do a quick test here with Antutu to show you that it's just not the UI um, it's also the real performance. Lollipop really improves upon the performance. Uh, these are actually the scores I just got, but I'll run it again for you to prove it to you. Boom shakalaka. And here we go. We're off. Um, I will fast forward all this and then we'll go from there. Oh, but, but take a look. You can already see the S5 actually slightly beating the Note 4. Amazing. And that one's just, look at that, it's only still at 5%. All right, we'll fast forward all this. All right, there you have it. Uh, you can see that both the 
S5 is running a CM12 getting almost 45,000, uh, well, almost 46,000 for that one. Also 46,000, uh, maybe only a thousand point difference between the Note 4. Uh, this is running the latest KitKat 4.4.4, uh, Android 4.4.4. KitKat. Um, these are both running in with 5.0. So 5.0 really improves your um, graphic performance and um, you know it's it's awesome. It, it just makes your phone faster. Uh, let me go ahead and give you one more note before I go. Uh, I know you know AOSP ROMs usually don't support um, more than 32 gigs. That is only for XFAT. Um, there's there's a guy who said that you could format it in um, NTFS, which is the regular Windows format, uh, and I did that, and now I can use uh, my 64 gigabytes just fine. So if you have above 32 gigabyte micro SD card, you want to use it with AOC, AOSP ROMs. Do not insert it. Um, copy all of your contents onto your computer. Format your micro SD card as in NTFS format, and then recopy all your content back into the SD card. Um, you can use that with AOSP and TouchWiz ROMs. So. Just stick with uh, NTFS format. And if you don't know how to format it with NTFS, please Google it. Uh, that's about it, folks. I will have an update uh, when there's um, you know stable milestone release. But this is like really stable. I would recommend it as a daily driver, actually, for the S5. Uh, this is actually my daily driving ROM here. Um, I've got it working on T-Mobile. Um, I've been using T-Mobile often. Uh, just because you know T-Mobile has pretty good coverage, um, getting pretty good 4G LTE, pretty good speeds. Um, why is it not picking up? I don't know why it's. It, it should be picking up. Oh, there we go. It's on LTE. I uh, just take, took a second because I just took it off Wi-Fi. Uh, but do check it out. And that's it, folks. Love this ROM. And thanks guys for watching this video. For those of you with an unlock bootloader, um, such as a T-Mobile Sprint, all the all the international version, the 900F, 900M. Um, you know, go ahead and try the CM12, and I think you'll love it. You can use it as a daily driver. Uh, all, as always, just make a backup ROM before you install it. So if you don't like it, try for a day or two. If you don't like it, you can always go back. Uh, maybe you miss all your Samsung features. Maybe you rely on them. I personally don't. I use all third-party apps. Um, I just try to use everything so I don't have to rely on Samsung stuff. Um, that way I can, you know, freely go back and forth between, uh, you know, CM, Sinogen Mod, ROM, AOSP ROM, TouchWiz, I just go back and forth. Just be free, you know. Anyway, just check it out. This is awesome. This is the best build I've seen a Lollipop on a non-Nexus device. The Galaxy S5 is definitely the way to go um, right now, I think. So definitely check it out and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe, uh, like, and I will see you guys soon. Uh, stay. On Android.